everyone, welcome to KD Fab Food Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching my channel and supporting me by subscribing to my channel. And today I'm going to show you how to make the most cutest macaron ever. We're going to make Hello Kitty macarons. So don't forget to watch step by step. So I'm going to show you um, how to, the tip and technique to perfect this macaron here. So high feet, no hollow, very pretty circle, and also decorate our macaron to Hello Kitties. So let's get started, okay? So first we will need about 125 gram of confection sugar that I already measured out here. Uh, on a scale and about 125 grams of the almond flour and um, 82 grams of the egg, uh, the granulate sugar, so 82 grams of granulate sugar and about 92 grams of aged one day aged egg white here. Um, by aging one day it helps um, to control our merengue when we whisk it better so it's gonna um, drops of the vanilla extracts here using our dropper here and about a quarter teaspoon of the cream tartar to help stabilize our egg white and because we do our almond flour is tan color so when we mix it in it will give us that pretty bright white color that we want for our um, Hello Kitty face so that's why we're gonna need um, the uh, white powder here so let's get started okay so I'm gonna put in the egg white here into our kitchen aid. So I'm gonna do the time for you for um, your reference. Um, I'm gonna show you how to look for the peak as well because for the uh, French macarons method, so we want a very stiff peak, okay? So I'm gonna show you what kind of peak we're looking for. And so um, I'm gonna let, go ahead and let it whip for like about three and a half minutes here.
gonna check out pick here. All right, beautiful. This is what we want, a very stiff pick. Um, so this is ready, very sharp. Let's get started with our macaron age stage. So again, I'm using the uh, sugar flare super white here for our um, colors. So we're going to add in, I like to divide in three portions when we add into our almond flour that we mix with the confection sugar. So we want to add in four spoon. If you have some little bit crumb, just go ahead and toss it here. So the step that you want to do is you want to go down, under, and over. It's like a J shape here. So down, under, and over, and turn our bowl here just to incorporate our the flour in. So. So what we're going to do again is un down, under, over, down, under. So like a J. So when you see all the flour combines, we go ahead and add in our second batch. To and you're going to just do the same onto our third batch, which is the final batch. So I'm keep, um, folding it in like this until I see all the almond flour combine into our um, meringue and then we will start to paint it. So the purpose of painting is just to get all the bubble out. So I like to do like two times and then check our um, flow here to see if it's ready before we do the third one. So I'm going to go ahead and put it against the bowl here. So you want a higher bowl so that way you have um, more length when you fold them. Okay, 
this a second time here. So I like to test the flow to see if it's ready by after the second. So for me, when it start when it start to going down like that, it's ready. Yeah, that's is ready. And I like to leave about half an inch away. If you cannot control the circle sign, you can count in your head. So I like to count to six. A few tap to get the bubble out. You, if you have any of the pointy part on the macaron itself, that's okay. Just go ahead and use a toothpick. Um, to kind of dab it out. So I want to show you how to draw the ears. So like I mentioned, I used the other tip, the uh, article A01. So what you do is you just gonna do the edge you're gonna put close to it give it a press move out give it a press and move out we want to do like a triangle and we'll so for the ear I like to go ahead and push in the middle here and squeeze push and squeeze and I just have to fix it to make it into a triangle. So I finish piping this and then um, get the ear character for our Hello Kitty here. I'm going to let it air dry. It's really depend on how long is um, uh, how long we are resting it for. It depends on your humidity, temperature in your area. So you shall leave it about. So while waiting for our macaron to be dry, so how you know when it's dry? When you touch the finger into the macaron and it's not sticking to your finger, the batter doesn't mean it's ready. So I've been preheating my oven for at confession bake, about 290-91 Fahrenheit, and we're going to try to bake it for 14 minutes, okay? Um, so for now, we're going to start our filling, so the yummy sweet buttercream merengue. Um, so I already pre-made the uh, sweet uh, buttercream merengue here already. Usually I make a big batch and I save it and so you just have to whip it again when it's to get ready. So we're gonna do strawberry filling today. So we're gonna go ahead and do strawberry, about 300 grams of strawberries, uh, fresh strawberries and about 50 grams of the granite sugar. So if like a sweeter, you can add more sugar but because our sweet bur um, merengue buttercream is already sweet so I'm kind of 
light on the sugar and the strawberry here and about 15 ml of water to kind of help dilute our um, sugar here so if you don't have time or you don't have fresh strawberry in your area you can always use like strawberry preserve okay so I'll go ahead and add in the sugar here and I'll add in the water I'm gonna let it boil and when it's all melted I'm gonna add in our strawberry and let it simmer until it's uh, form a consistency thickness and then we 60 grams after um, it cooks here and I already strain it out, take out all the seed and then I chill it in the fridge for like about 10 minutes or so, let it cool down because you don't want to add into a cold butter, it's going to melt. So, put it up a little bit before we add in our strawberry. Uh, I have it in here. here. You're going to whisk it for like maybe 2 minutes here at medium. So about five. Alright, so after about a minute, I change the speed to like speed seven. So then let it whip up a little bit. You know when it's ready when all the strands are coming together. So now I'm gonna slowly add in our um, strawberry here. And I'm gonna just do at speed five. So our macaron is ready, been cooling down for over um, 15 minutes now. So we're going to start go ahead and add a little at the bowl on Hello Kitty head here. So I'm using the white chocolate, yellow chocolate uh, melt with a little bit of crystal to help uh, drying later. Because I ran out of the white chocolate, so I'm using yellow, but feel free to use white chocolate to use as a glue or the buttercream to help stick the... Uh, heart confetti. So I'm using the jumbo heart confetti um, for the bowl here. So this is like a glue for us here. So we're gonna decorate our macarons here. So we're gonna go ahead and use this template here to draw our Hello Kitty face. If you're very good at drawing, you don't need it. So I just put it as an option for you. I'll go ahead and uh, have a link of this template for you if you wanted to print it out and just um, cut it out and then you can do uh, put it on top and you can draw it or you can just draw it on its own. I'm using edible ink pen the black and the yellow to draw Hello Kitty face here. We go ahead and add in our 
strawberry sweet meringue buttercream and I'm using the same tips as the piping so article 804 round tips to pipe this here and we want to make sure we pipe enough so it will cover surrounding the uh, macarons we want a good amount of the fill. there you have it this is all hello kitty macaron it's super cute and it's super pretty all macarons have very smooth um, bottom and also high rise and like i mentioned earlier you can use to draw the hello kitty here you can use um, the template here that i can put a link for you you can print it out um, if you don't uh, want to use this one that's okay if you're very good at drawing you can also just go ahead and use the edible um, ink maker marker here and just draw directly to the macarons and that's perfect too so and i did two choices for you and then you can do either one sided or two sides up to you as well so for watching until next time i see you then bye bye thank you so much